This is match number four. Representing the United States of America, Patrick Reed and Tiger Woods. Representing Europe, Francesco Molinari and Tommy Fittle. Interesting one for the US, isn't it? The one and only Tiger Woods back playing Ryder Cup. On the tee, the Up USA. Against, well, alongside Patrick Reed, who's been the inspiration in the last two Ryder Cups for the, the US. played in the opening morning in his seven previous Ryder Cups. He's lost five and won two. How is he going to perform here at the age of 42? I think he'll perform very well, Doogie. I think it's a new Tiger Woods. On the day, Europe. Ryder Cup debut. His son Frankie is one year old today, and Tommy is playing with a man called Frankie. An omen? He hopes so. Very softly, beautiful shot from Fleetwood. <laughs> and now the other Frankie and Tommy Fleetwood's life today, Francesco Molinari, the first Italian to win a major, the Open champion. Mr. Steady, Mr. Straight. It's just, it just repeats time and time and time again. This match is Kevin Feeney. Fleetwood first to play perfect lie, nice level lie, 146. I just want to throw this past the hole. It certainly spin back some. Both he and Tiger don't have great angles. They always have a better angle up the right side when you're playing more up the green. Tiger even more from the left than what Fleetwood had. This is from an even 140. Could be a nice pitching wedge, slight breeze helping and from the right. Like Fleetwood and Woods, a nice level lie here for the Open champion. Oh, 
to bubble a wee bit. And back to the first Fleetwood for Birdie. Just gently downhill with a right to left movement to it. Has to start it outside the hole. Francesco moving his marker back there, which is a good sign for the European team because it will mean that Francesco's just got a great read from Tommy Fleetwood's ball. Slow putt like this, he's going to take some break out, so it's just a guessing game. Which way is it going to go? Aggressive puck for Tiger. The partner was out of the hole. But just a four will leave Molinari with four feet. It's not a good sign. This is just an inside right edge putt. He can go ahead, take a little break out, get a little bit firmer. Doesn't have to worry about a comeback putt. Fleet was already in the hole. This is one you should make. length it's 205 to cover the water directly on line with the hole and that bunker just long right is not far away wind hurting in from the left and it is gaining in strength Being left means a little right oh, it looks a lot right that's all right he's got Frank he's a partner Expect for him to put this a little short right of the hole. If you get it pin high and you're only 15, 18 feet right, you're missing the green. So the percentage play is about 10 feet short and about 15 feet right would be ideal. Pin hard. Right as well. Bit of trouble on the second for the final group. Lovely line there, a little upslope though from Molinari. This is an extremely difficult tee shot though. Patrick Reed likes to play everything with a significant right to left, so he'll hold it up against the breeze. And that one just staying out of the bunker. In my opinion, I think it's going to be an easier shot from the sand. I agree. Well, Matthew, that one right there for Reed is short enough. He has some green to work with. The other two have virtually no green. This is a hard shot for Tiger. His go-to safe shot is a left to right, kind of a wipe shot. So not a happy situation for Tiger, especially with his partner missing the green. The saving grace is both the Europeans have missed the green as well. But look for a very safe shot from Tiger. Sam, I think he's almost swinging it as good as I've ever seen it. I think it's better than it's ever been. He's got control in every department of the game, swings within himself, great release through the ball. No, yeah, Tiger's back all right. Pretty good lie here for Fleetwood, and he has the best angle between he and Molinari by far. That's a very good shot.
You'd like one of them to make three to force Tiger to hold a three footer. Very little green to work with. Reed is going to have to likely land this in the rough. It's going to want to kick forward and to his left. Uh, yeah, it's such a good lie. He took the rough out of play. I think the best thing about his lie there was that Tiger Woods is three foot from the hole as well. Made it a lot easier for his partner. Doesn't have a lip to worry with, but he, he does have a visual issue on not being able to see where he wants to land the ball. But he only has about 12, maybe 14 feet at the most, depending on his line to work with between the fringe and the hole. Green going away from him. Here the strike was a little clunky there. So we will have some testing putts to make Tiger Woods hold his putt for birdie and win the hole in the second. This one for Molinar is going to have just a slight left to right to it. Just gently uphill at the end. Just incredible amphitheater around this second green, just ready to erupt if Fleetwood makes this one. And he saw Molinari's ball roll up there. And this is just an inside left putt, has less break than what we initially thought. Oh. You see Tommy Fleetwood can see the putt of Tiger Woods for the birdie. I think with the golf shot that Tiger Woods just hit, he probably did deserve to win that hole. And he made it anyway. It was a lot easier when it's been conceded, of course. Reed has already driven right down the middle of the fairway. Tiger trying to end up the left. Yeah. It's so important to try and hit fairways, you know, give yourself both chances to pack for birdie. It just takes so much pressure off. It's a bit surprising, Matthew. 260 to the hole, 246 to the front edge. The ball's sitting okay, but there's a huge clump of grass the club's going to have to go through to get to the back of the ball. This is a bit of a gamble here. He's aiming at least 75 to 80 yards left of this green. Whoa, he's chopped it out of there. If he gets past the tree, which he does, it's a great look. Straight up the green from Tiger Woods' third shot. That was a lot of power in there, wasn't it, Tony? Cool, wasn't it just? Ideally, you want to play a cut shot in there, the way this green is shaped, but that goes against his normal shot curve. Managed to get it moving left to right. You can see on the shot tracer there. Oh, the moans of the crowd. I'm guessing that it's come up a touch short. Well, he's got a very good lie, not far from the hole. He's got one of those shots you would think about chipping in. Molinari now with a reasonable lie here, but he comes in very shallow through the ball. He's not a great player out of the rough. It doesn't get much practice. Hits so many fairways. rough well the fairways are all mown from tee to green so everything is down grain the first cut of rough is is actually mown back towards the tee and then the second cut is is, is brushed towards the the green so you get in that first cut of rough the grass is shorter but it's denser 229 for Fleetwood he's on top of a mound a great lie in the first cut he cannot see any of the flag stick though just going at a target in the distance Shot tracer made it look like it was heading too far left, but this is set up on the line of between him and the pin, so that's safely aboard the green for Tommy Fleetwood. Jay, you seeing every shot and watching them walk, is it uh, just my imagination that Tiger looks just a little bit, a little bit stiff? Does he look loose and flexible to you? It just looks, just looks a bit, 
stilted in his movements. He looks like a 42-year-old guy who's had a lot of operations. Yeah, good point. He looks the way he should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he also seems to be a guy that won last week. I wouldn't worry about him. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what, Jay? We're on borrowed time with him, and let's enjoy every second of it. What a pleasure to see him back in this condition again, playing, winning, and watching him play these shots. There haven't been many better. And that was just absolutely magnificent. I mean, really? The man's a genius. Molinari's got a great lie to play the shot. The tree is not in the way, but the green is going away from him. Getting it within six feet would be an excellent shot. And the key to that shot for Europe is that if Molinari cuts first, Tommy Fleetwood will have a free putt at his eagle and not have to worry about the one coming back. Fairly flat putt as far as speed goes, so not an issue. Slope. You can see he's got the pin out. He has no worries about missing. He should hit the hole at worst. This is one you expect to chip in. Oh. Oh. Aggressively, knowing that his partner Tiger Woods had already hit his amazing chip shot and, and, and made his way into the hole for a birdie four. So Europe need one of these putts now to half the third. As you guys were saying, putting surfaces are perfect. If you hit a good putt, it will go in. Still has a putt on six for a half. Let's not forget that one. Uh, Fleetwood, fourth tee. Both Americans missed the fairway. That's not missing anything. Oh, yeah. Beautiful ball flight from Tommy Fleetwood. That, like you said, Sam, never going to miss the fairway. That as soon as he hit it. A huge advantage on the fourth if you can find the fairway. Both the Americans in the rough, so Tommy will be over the moon to see that on the short stuff. Nothing but a gouge out from here for Tiger at the fourth. Even with all of his power, he'll only be just hacking this back somewhere. If he could get it 50, 60 yards, he's done well. Reasonable lip in front of him. He has 205 of the hole, more important numbers to the front right part of the green, 166. To carry that first bunker up the left side is 177. I think he can comfortably do that with some helping wind off the left. Sounds like a nice clean strike, Zach. Good job, Patrick. Just missing the green, but good for distance and plenty of green to work with with the chip. Still going to be working hard for a four, though, so if him. Europeans can hit some good approach shots. They, they will take a big advantage walking up to this green. Previous hole was just a rare aberration. Plays four yards longer than the distance due to the uphill nature of the shot. So he's going to be looking at 181. You want to keep it below the hole and to the right if possible. Francesco. 
will give the opportunity for Tommy Fleetwood to just play as aggressive as he likes. Most breeze from this angle is from his left, but also helping ever so slightly. Asking this one to be right. Oh, and it is right. Tommy Fleetwood, what a beautiful iron shot of the field. One of the more difficult holes in the course. He found the fairway, which made it easier and took full advantage. Well done, Tommy Fleetwood. Oh, we just hit an amazing Sorry. shot to get it to this position. He's left himself 130 and a slight upslope. With this club in hand, he's likely going to have to fly it past the hole. There's some back to front slope in the back portion of the green hill to deal with. Tiger Woods, but shoot of the flag. We'll head up to Patrick Reed. He hasn't got a great lie here. Just trying to prod it forward, run it all the way down to the hole, and that is a spectacularly good little chip. Really, what a fantastic shot. to win the hole at four. It's on the low side and a little bit weak, and that will not be given. In the short part after Tommy Fleetwood's amazing approach at the fourth to win the hole for the Europeans to go in front. Very yeah. solid from Tommy. Always interesting playing with Tommy, Sam. I've never seen such a good player hit those putts so soft. One fifty nine for Tiger after a perfect tee shot coming in over the bunkers which are not in play well short of the hole. Just calls for a little draw from right to left breeze coming from the right. Not happy with that one Tiger you can see why. Fleetwood and Reed both have 147. Fleetwood's in the first cut of rough guy, the like left. Tom, let him move under the pin. He has a perfect lie on a slight downslope. From this angle, the wind just starting to fresh, and it's more in his face all of a sudden. It was from the right when Tiger was playing. Downhill lie and first cut of rough won't hinder him at all. He'll take dead aim. Okay. Reed has the best angle coming in from the right side, 147. As I said, the wind is freshening, but from this angle, it's equal from right and into his face. He's never seen a hole cut in the left side of the green he didn't like, so this is a green light special for Reed. Good contact on it anyway. Oh, it's a fabulous shot. This always stay in the hole. Try and make a par like your partner. Have an easy putt. It's a good shot there from Molinari. To Woods for Birdie at the fifth. I can pair one down to Molinari and Fleetwood. Face. Molinari gouged it out of that right hand rough after the errant tee shot. Got it to hear this for part. Yeah. Nicely in, that would give Tommy a nice free run at his part. Great four as well, you can say, over the moon making four for that tee shot. Obviously with his partner, par in the pocket. 
doesn't have to worry about a comeback putt, but you have to be careful. You don't say, okay, I'm gonna hit this firm. You still have to hit your normal pace the way your brain reads the putts. What he didn't do, Jay there. Sometimes he needed to keep the speed, but that's not Tommy's speed, knocking it three, four foot past. Stay focused to trust in what you would normally do. And Tommy Fleet was turned to take on the drivable sixth. Out with the driver, Jay. Well, that's the only way to go, Matt. 280 to the front left edge. 284 directly in line with the hole. Slight breeze in his face. That's a cracker from Tommy, almost right on top of where we saw Tony Finau chip in from, so he'll be happy with that one. You just feel what's going on throughout the whole golf course, and you know when Europe has made one. You know when the U.S. has made one. Such distinctive sounds. Now this one from Molinari takes a good one for Francesco to reach the green, but if he really pops it, he might get there. Come over the slope, come over the slope. Well, that's come up just short, but not a bad lead from Francesco. As Jay said, it was a big ask to get that all the way to the putting surface for, for Francesco. Patrick Reed on the reachable sixth. No, not quite. Tiger on six. He can certainly reach the green. Let's see how soft he swings on this. So much better, isn't it? I think he likes it. Oh, it's way left. can see the green, not where he's going to land it possibly, but he's all on just walked out hard pan over here. Not a very good line. Well, the two short game shots that we've seen Tiger hit do the par five third, and now this one are just first class. Reed and Molinari are pretty close to each other, but vastly different shots. Reed has a much poorer angle. He's going to have to land it on the down slope. It's going to really want to take a big bounce. It all comes down to does he want to land it on the green or do you want to land it on the more severe down slope on the rough? Judging by his practice swing, he's going to land it in the fairway, I should have said, on the more severe down slope. He's going to look for a forward and right to left kick. Played. Won the Masters, fourth in the US Open, but he's only had one top ten since that US Open in June, and that was here in Europe at the, the European Open. Francesco has a more level lie and a better angle, more green to work with. But once he gets to the green, he's going to go more of a down slope, and then as it approaches a hole, it's going to want to break left to right. So it's going to go right to left and then left to right at the end. Difficult one to get the right distance. Francesco Molinari will now give Tommy Fleet with the opportunity to maybe be a tad more aggressive from the right hand side. Huh. Maybe have a European chip in. This for Fleetwood. Just to win the hole, go two up. Well, I think they'll be given Tigers and his probably. Maybe not. Back to Reed for the half at six. <laughs> Safely in from Patrick Reed to half the hole, so Molinari and Fleet would remain one up through six. Always a difficult tee shot here at seven. There's a big mound and a huge gallery, they call it up there. 
that's blocking the wind that's in the player's face and from the left. It's a slightly uphill tee shot and there's to a plateau. You don't want to hit it any more than really 290 off the tee and you run out of fairway. Five, six, ten, twelve deep at parts here left of seven. A good indication that he's a good shot. Just sneak back on the fairway. Perfect position for Tiger. Okay. Just commit to the Roger. shot. See it. Make it happen. Okay, the key here is the Europeans are in trouble. Fleetwood's going to be able to get it on the green, but he's not going to be able to control the distance, so he's going to have to play a bit safe in the middle of the green. He cannot miss it right here. a little bit to get more of a descending lie or descending club head angle into the impact area. So it's going to go a little bit lower. It's going to be kind of a force following if you were playing billiards or snooker. This one, even with the soft greens, should release out. Shame, just squirted a bit right. It was released right up the green. But he has a pretty good lie here. Ball slightly above his feet. Uphill lie is going to help him throw it up in the air. Where he lands it is going to want to have some right to left movement to it. Right about here. Oh. Oh, man, so good. Tommy there, so he played it so good. He was in the way that he got contact on the ball. Big putt coming up now, though, for Tommy Fleetwood. Oh, oh, it could still be him to play, Jay, is it? It's going to be Francesco to play first, Matthew. He uh, didn't play a very good pitch shot. Overlooking the left side of this green as Molinari gets ready to putt. And this one is going to want to have a little bit of a right to left movement in the beginning. And then the last third straighten out, but this is for par. A little underneath it for the Open champion. Amazing for all his astonishing achievements. He's only ever once won a rider. And never out of the US. No, well that's back to all square. illusion it doesn't look like there's a lot of green between that front bunker and the hole but there's plenty right. yeah, very heavy contact from Patrick Reed not like the Masters champion to strike it like that into the front bunker. Sets up well for Tiger, even though the hole's cut in the left side of the green, the wind is from the right, he can aim it just right of the hole, play his little stock cut up shot against the wind, take some curve out of it. Yeah. 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 
basket here. The wind is freshening. It's freshened since they've gotten to the tee. That's what they're talking about. Both direction and velocity. Look for Tommy to the finish of this shot, have the club head pointing up towards the sky. He's going to hold this off. Try and play a little squeeze cut against the wind. Yes, Tommy! Come on, Tommy! Let's go! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's a good shot from Tommy. Well, Patrick Reed hit a bunker shot out of the front bunker and Tiger started laughing at him. It was immediately given by Tommy Fleetwood. It was such a good shot. Fleetwood now for birdie. Molinari still has work left for his par. It's going left to right off that mound I was talking about. And that's run by. Shot to sound like he's about to lose his voice for the rest of the week. Happy days. <laughs> Quickly to Molinari for the half. Game remains all square. You have to worry about the water through the fairway where it cuts in. It's only 335 to reach with a helping wind from the right. Certainly in play. If you hit a driver. Let's go, Tiger. Tiger, thinking exactly the same way as Jay. Out with the three wood. reaction it I think it's heading to the right we saw Rory over there not quite as bad as Rory but definitely won't be going for the green in two Tommy Fleetwood that will have to be a layup from there 277 with the wind off the right from Molinari he's gonna have to bust it but he's going to take it left he can't carry the bunker cool that went in like a rat down its hole into that thick stuff that is not good Tiger Woods. 271 to the hole, 253 to the front edge for Tiger, and he can reach it. Yeah, nice okay. shot from Tiger, just coming off about five, six yards short left of the green on the night for the second shot, so that will leave a fairly easy chip shot. Plenty of green to work with. You just cannot miss this right, and this is where local knowledge comes in. I'm not sure the Americans have played this hole enough times to know you can't miss it right. Patrick Reed not leaving anything behind there. Big shoulder turn and a good spank with a utility. He got it up there easy, but left of the green. That will leave a very difficult chip shot up that bank and across the shelf. Tony Fleetwood, ninth fairway. Third shot. Pretty. Pretty awful shot, to be honest, with a short arm. Ali, Ali, it says on the stand behind. Go, go. Woods at nine. Right. Have a nicely played chip shot from Tiger. Concentration back to the fleet work. It's a shame to see it roll off the green for Tommy, but he's already, he's already played three, that being his fourth, and Tiger very close. It's, it's not looking good for the Europeans on the ninth in that final game. It's been a mess for the Europeans here at nine. Tommy Fleetwood was left of the green in three, chipped it over the green, has now chipped it back on. Molinari was short right, took over seven or eight minutes for the marshals not the players to find molinari's ball barely moved it chipped it up to this position this for par the two americans still have birdie putts to come oh. wow, 
this hole will be conceded. Well, that is slightly Not criminal. In better ball. Not to be able to get a par and a par five. That is just an absolute gift to America. Right up Patrick Reed's alley here. Straight down for the tee pegs, always, always the sign that we look for. Straight up the middle of the fairway and a long way up too, Patrick Reed. Yeah, a lot of run on these fairways. Tiger has a reasonable lie here, 133, but it's uphill. He's gonna play close to 140, a little bit of wind hurting from this angle. Stuff is so dense. You know, there you go. Talking to Justin Rose at the practice rounds, he said, you know, the, the, the stuff's not that long, but he said, you get between 150 and 170 yards. He says it's a miracle from the second cut if you can get it on the surface. Great position for Molinari, 113, wind straight off the left. He needs to hit a good shot. Fleetwood has a terrible lie in the right rough. This needs to get up. As soon as he hit it, that it needed to go. Too bad a spot there, though, for Francesco. 78 for Reed, 85 to the back edge of the green. Oh, well, this is going to spin way to back down the hill. That is a huge mistake from Reed, especially with Woods in trouble. Not easy, Jay. No, it's certainly not. He can't see any of the green. He's well below the level of the green, but it is facing him. That's going to help. It's like an invisible shield around that green. Good uphill lie here. This is a pretty straightforward shot for Reed. as well yeah so he didn't need the flag perfect speed it looked like advantage europe not now well molinari's got a nice lie here this is one certainly he's thinking about chipping in as a matter of fact fleetwood's caddy him for him he's got the shoulder the flag stick over his shoulder nice little uphill lie when it reaches the green and starts rolling it's going to have a little right to left movement to it expecting a four maybe to be good enough and in went Patrick Reed's chip shot two to the Americans now in the final game Tiger Woods and Patrick Reed have made their way to the par 3 11th We've seen a, some great golf shots going in here the wind coming in <laughs> slightly left to right so players just trying to hold up their shots Two twos on the 11th so far today. You just cannot miss this long left. There's that bunker. You short side yourself. You're tipping downhill. So Reed is in the good angle here. Obviously, Tiger would like to hit it inside of Patrick's. Wind starting to gust a little bit more and it's just turning more in his face off the left. Tiger not happy with that one. It's a difficult putt from down there. We've already seen that putt before with it up and over the ridge with a big right to left swing. Two down, Tommy. Started off right, just leaped a little. Still got it inside the two American boys. 
Michael Molinari saw a good shot from Tommy. Got it pin high to the right. Might want to take a little bit more aggressive line. He doesn't curve the ball much, so he'll take a tighter line to the hole. Woods. Birdie Pat. So many times over the years he's found a way to hold the right pack at the right time, but not on this occasion. Little bit shy. And much more makeable on a percentage basis, but he's gonna have to start this probably a cup to two cups outside right. Fleetwood to win the hole with a birdie two and get one of the two back that they're down. Pretty good swing from the right. Molinari should be watching this one closely if he misses. Beautiful try from Tommy. And that part conceded, so that's a three. Same thing, this swinging from the right. If anything, as it starts to approach the hole, it'll be going slightly downhill to win the hole, to get back to one down. Beautiful tap from Francesco. Well done. And this game is now absolutely game on. The crowd are going ballistic. <laughs> That's about as excited as Frankie gets, really, isn't it? Don't think for a minute though, that it doesn't matter to him just as much as anyone else. Terrific stuff from the Open champion, and now just one down. Now Woods at 12. at everything, the recoil, and even taking a full-blooded swipe at it. I mean, that stuff is so thick and so juicy. Tommy has a bit of a downhill lie here from the right side of the fairway. Not the best angle with this back right hole location. 179, wind helping and off the right. It's nearly a one club wind, probably strongest of the day. You'd have to say that is the best hair in golf. There's no question. Playing across a low area, pretty much level this portion of the fairway with the green. You don't want to go beyond the hole. It's wicked downhill putt. Forget going over the green. Well, they liked it. The, the length was wrong, but the line was good. And not good for Europe. I don't know if I've been in a time warp. Is this Sunday afternoon? I've never had so much excitement in three or four hours golf. <laughs> and now three tight matches out of four. Molinari has 160 ball well below his feet. Wind from the right. Stiffening. It's picked up since Fleetwood is hit. As it was forecast for today to pick up in the afternoon. I love him. He's just magnificent. If you ever wanted a game of golf, it would be his game. Francesco Molinari. and the vice captains will certainly be giving it due consideration and 
the word from the European team room was that Thomas Bjorn wanted to play everyone on the first day. This is Woods. Another good shot from Tiger. Well, he's back to what he used to do with the short game. I spoke to him at the President's Cup and asked him about his tripping, and he said the issues with his tripping had been due to trapped nerves in his back prior to the operation. Tony, I'm going to remind you about the second shot that Tiger dug out of the woods at, out of the long rough at three. He was swinging at it early, uphill, right to left at first, and then back the other way for Reed. Tiger's just fine, boys. Don't worry about him. Fleetwood has this little left to righter here, uphill, can take some break out of it. Definitely has to start at left of the hole, but. I think he has a better chance on the angle than what Molinari does from shorter distance. Francesco for the second hole in a row has a chance to claw back to level. It's going to have some left to right in it and uphill just ever so slightly. Right in the middle. Francesco Molinari, two birdies in a row. The bottom match is now all square. Meanwhile, back in 13, Tommy Fleetwood. See, this is not good. No turn from there. Really the perfect layoff. I always. You're in trouble getting back into play. Tiger now in good position. Molinari played before Fleetwood, so you guys can take your uh, your heart and get it back going again. Molinari hit an incredible shot from 147 out of a poor lie. He's inside of 10 feet. Now Tiger from the fairway, 143. Wind straight behind, trying Go to pull a little draw in here. Step! Tiger Woods, that really was so close to being perfect. Tiger at 13, we saw a second up here. Nice play. Oh, I thought that was well. That was a little unlucky from Tiger there. Second was a little unlucky, and so was his third. Patrick Reed. Long birdie putt. Oh. A bad effort and stroke play, you would say it was a good one to win the hole for Frankie Molinari. Fleetwood still has an opportunity. Molinari could do nothing but just chop out, lay up. He had a terrible lie on the right rough. It looks good. The line's great. The distance is no. Bunker short, I would imagine. Tommy Fleetwood, similar shot, but 16 yards close, excuse me, seven yards closer than what Tiger had. He had the ball also above his feet. Yeah, started a little right, wind off the right, brought it back a little. Quite a bit of green to work with, that's not bad. Woods at 14, this for birdie. No one else made birdies yet. Oh, swing from there. That's just the power for Tiger. Oh, another big, 
big part. There have been so many of them this morning. Tommy Fleetwood to win the hole and to go one up. early on but the last of those was at the sixth so that match remains all square the bottom game Fleetwood back up on the 15th tee crucial on this hole to find the fairway as well and Tommy's done that beautifully perfectly positioned for Tommy Fleetwood And Doogie, you were talking about the whole amphitheater. I'm standing on the left side of the water. 18's on the right side of the water. Cannot imagine. I've been in every Ryder Cup since 99. There's never been a better venue, and this is only Friday morning. This is just truly amazing out here. Yeah. Perfect position for Francesco as well. Tiger now made up his mind. He's seen everything he wanted to see. Can he execute it properly? Oh, it's just chipped out. It's a long time to wait to do that. He just done that five minutes ago. Maybe he was just making up his mind. That was the right shot. I think it is when you can't be anything positive with the other shot. Right. And that's where it is. Back to fifteen, his partner in the water. Eyes are going straight up and down, that's a good sign. Got that. Never in doubt, Tony. Huh? No, never. <laughs> Back over to 15, and Patrick Reed, the last man of the four, to hit his second shot. Oh, this one's found the water as well. This could be a huge boost for the Euro Europeans. Tommy Fleet with the only man. On that island green, Tiger Woods, remember, had to hack it out down the fairway. Fleetwood to win the hole. Just to go one up with three to play. Oh, last is that one to drop. That's what you needed. One up, three to play. There you go. And what Tommy doesn't realise there, Sam, as well, I don't think, is that by holding that cut, not only as he put themselves in front, he's just sent a huge cheer back up to the at t for Paul Casey and Tyrrell Hatton for a bit of positive vibes. Yeah. Molinari, one up now, it's the seven iron. And Sam, this is a wicked shot right now because of the strength of the breeze in their face. Maybe a little from the right as well. Elevated T into the wind, 158. It plays six yards shorter due to the downhill nature, but there's about two to two and a half yards of false front just over that bulkheaded wall it guards the front part of the green you have to hit it past the hole here yeah that's okay the temptation is to try and get one in close but what do you need to you give yourself two chances As he's getting ready, the wind is getting even stronger than what it was at 15. Easily a club and a half wind at the moment. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
rather than just the one. Just having a quick look down the afternoon force on pairings. All 12 players will play on the opening day. Slowly towards the, the hazard line. Well, Tiger was none too uh, impressed when he had laid up and then Patrick hit it in the water in the previous hole. So, would have been a couple nervous moments there when that ball was leaning back. This just fits Tiger's eye, aiming it right at the two European balls, about 25 and 28 feet left, and just playing his little saw shot into this right hole location. I can see him getting aggressive here with Reed's good shot. closer two from further away well I said that we could do with a bit of justice from Tony Finn out hitting the woodwork maybe Tommy Fleet we could be the man to put that right for us one up three to play on its way down the slope make it there make it there Tommy Fleet with you legend and look what it means to Tommy it's a huge part in the context of this game you're desperate to get something blue on that board and Tommy Fleetwood has just delivered a fantastic birdie. So we are all for Tommy Fleetwood and Europe guaranteed at least a half, but we're not going to be happy with that now. I got ahead of myself. Reed, of course, has a putt to half the hole. Come on, baby. That doesn't make it. Two up, two to play. I really thought Reed would hold that good. He's as hard as nails. Not to be. T shot at 17 from Tony Fleckwood. Oh, it's high, it's left. It's in the thick stuff. Francesco Molinari on the 17th tee. Very demanding tee shots, this closing stretch at Paris National. Yeah. This looks a really good one. It makes this hole so much more simple from the short stuff. Super drive, thank you. They're on 17. Second shot just catching the run off here on the left hand side misses a really difficult spot right up against the collar of the fairway in the fringe short sided they know they just need a half to be done with this pick up the long point so look for this to be right up the middle of the green if not past the middle of the green as far as distance goes shouldn't have any problem at all getting the club on the back of the ball Fifty-seven, perfect live ball, slightly above Francesco's feet. Another beautiful iron shot from Mayonnaise. That was in the rough. Needs missed the greens, a great chance here in Europe to get the first point. They guarantee the half point, but they want a whole one. 
Wicked lie here for Tiger. Unlikely to reach the green, but he got a lot of club on it trying to run it up. But it was Reed that really messed things up here from the fairway, short side of himself. This match is likely over. It's a fair point, Matty, because we all remember Hazeltine two years ago. The US took the opening session 4-0. It's awfully hard to win from there. Yeah, it was the only time in history, wasn't it, that uh, there'd been a white bush in the first session. Get in the hole! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, well chip shot from Tiger Woods. I'm not sure it's going to be enough, but it was another display of some good short game. Shot. See the win there, Buffett in his famous long hair. All about the speed, Tommy. Can you just get one to die at the hole? Not quite.